Okay, I'm back. Now, I will say, for those of you that haven't already paused the video and went and looked at it for yourself, or for those of you that have never even seen it, there is some cussing, some explicit words, and all the other stuff. So, you have to brace yourself. Any children, you know, that's watching my channel, please don't, um, uh, because you will see and hear some things. Um, and that's that. So, adults, let's watch this, because... It's just really just crazy. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start um, one of the videos from YouTube. It's like six minutes and it's like six minutes, 11 seconds, but it's not the full. The videos. Okay. <laughs> I can't even talk. Video okay. going viral and it features a Cleveland bus driver punching a female passenger. I want you guys to pay close attention to every single second of this video because every single second is relevant. Let's take a look. And by the way, it is a difficult video to watch if you're uncomfortable seeing a man uh, physically assault a woman. So I'll give you that. You and your bitch. I'll bring my granddaughter up here. Okay, well, bring your nigga, bring your mammy up here, bitch, and I'll beat her ass too. Nigga, I dog that house. Look like somebody that sliced your face up. Are you about to change your face up? Face up. Bitch, somebody. Oh! Bitch, somebody. Bitch, So let me start off by saying the obvious. Okay, so punched her. let me okay, let uh, me start off by saying, okay, well, look, <laughs> the whole thing of the matter, in my opinion, um, the reason why this even came about, the reason why I'm even on here, like, because I don't have nobody to talk to right now because everybody in my house is asleep. And <laughs> it just bothered me that on the news station, they have they have her doing an interview in a nice little room with a nice cozy um attorney and she's claiming that you know basically she did nothing wrong and she's traumatized so i need some money that's why that's how i'm taking this whole thing uh she says her four-year-old daughter was um on the bus and she witnessed the whole thing and she's traumatized so i pulled that one up and i want you to see this now don't forget who we just saw okay i'm just saying okay let me see let me make sure i go to the right one okay yeah this is it bus driver up cuts uh viral video woman okay woman struck now speaks out okay let's go with that up to this Shaidia says she had forgotten her book bag and told the driver she was searching her pockets for money. That when I first got on the bus, he said to me, in his words, Ho, you ain't got no money. Did you ever spit on him? I never spit on him. Where did he get the impression that you spit on him and choked him? You know what? I want to, under I want to know that too, but I never spit on that man. Shaidia says she's a victim of domestic violence and decided to stand up for herself. She admits to throwing verbal punches, but never saw this coming. I never expected him to physically attack me. She also never expected the video to go viral. For my four-year-old daughter to see that, it breaks my heart. But she said, Mommy, I don't like that man fight you, and my daughter's four. Shaidia has had her share of critics and threats following the incident, but she makes no apologies. Now, I did. I just tripped off this myself because I didn't even. Let me go. I can't. Where did this show that at? She's clearly. Shadia has had her share of critics. She's clearly touching the man. Incident, but she made wait a minute. Apologies. It's just. I had no choice but to fight back. Oh, wait a minute. Darn it, y'all. Did y'all see what I saw? She um. Okay. Wait a minute. She clearly, she clearly put her hands on that driver. At the end of the day, she clearly put her hands on the driver. And at the rate that she was going, I kind of believe and, and will go with the fact that she spit on him. Now, here we go. Here's the good and the bad, the ugly. Okay. And don't forget, subscribers, I love you guys. <laughs> My thing is this. I don't condone a man hitting a woman. Let's just put that out there. Let Angie put that out there right there, right there. I have three boys, okay? I have three sons, and I instill that in them 
so much. Your hands does not do not belong on a woman. You can't re-raise anyone. Somebody says something you don't like. Blah, blah, blah. Now, it gets a little difficult when you get into it. You know, to me, in my opinion, a lot, a lot of times, you know, they claim this in the water. The girls that I have been seeing lately in the past six, seven years are becoming more aggressive these days. I don't know if it's something that's going on at home or what the case may be, but they're a little aggressive. So I've told my son, my especially my oldest, you know, some kind of way, you know, we <laughs> some kind of way hold her down, but just to punch a girl and just beat her down like like a, a like a, a guy on the street, you don't do that. Okay, you just don't. Um Again, my feelings or I'm not, I'm not going to even somebody would someone would say my feelings are fogged up because, you know, or my judgment is being fogged up because of my parents and my involved, you know, and, and that because they worked in that public transportation. Um, but and it may very well be true. You know, because all I can do is I'm like, gosh, this man has grandkids, he's saying. This could be my father. My father just retired two months ago. This could be my dad. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, teach his own. You know, I just think that, you know, you you don't do that. And if she did spit on him, guys, I mean... If, and, and and just think about I don't know I you know I don't I just want to I want to know what y'all think that's why I'm talking because I'm looking at this in so many different areas first of all at that time he was driving now you trying to choke this man you could have killed everybody on that bus and somebody else in a whole other vehicle not only that spitting on someone guys if that is not the most disgusting thing that you could do to somebody to spit spit on them it doesn't have to be in their mouth in their eyes i wouldn't care if it was on my ear or in my hair you on my clothes anywhere that is disgusting you know they tell you all the time that the mouth is the dirtiest part of your body and you spit on me you know i i don't know i mean and for the ones that would say that and i mean i'm just going i'm just putting this out here okay because i really want to get some feedback from you guys for anybody right now, especially a man, any 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 male uh, subscribers or female subscribers that feel like you know whatever, if you feel as though the driver is wrong, okay, I just want to know in when you when you reply to this, if you were at your job, I don't care if it's behind a desk at the post office because you know how we get pissed off at that post office, right? Okay, post office. Uh, the cashier, bus driver, school bus driver, um, anything. I really want to know if somebody was acting like that as she was, okay? Because I'm not saying he's 100% right. He shouldn't have been engaging in an argument with her. He should have been put her out, get the phone, you know, before it got to that point. So I get that. So if anybody says that, I'm on board with that. But if somebody was to spit on you and choke you, you know, hit you, put their hands on you, invade your personal, you know, space, and spit on you. Please tell me, what do you think you would do? And I'll be honest with that question. I will answer that. Let me answer that, okay, for myself. I don't really know. I'm going to tell you, I don't know what I would do. I would probably black out and be, you know, wake up in jail or in, in the hospital. I don't know. I don't know what I would do, honestly. And, I'm, and I mean that seriously because that's a situation that, you know, I think is an individual situation. You know, I don't know what that man's, at that point, you know, he's going back and forth. I don't know what that man's state of mind was at the moment of contact. You know what I'm saying? But visually, what I see, she's wrong. You know what I'm saying? If And then, don't forget, the bus is driving. So evidently, he let her get on that bus. So money and no money, he let her get on that bus. And also, before this goes dead... I know for a fact that you got people on the bus that need to get to the next stop so they can get to work or get to wherever they go. And if they miss that, bus drivers can't be late. They got to big. They, if you ever see your public trip, they haul tail down the street because they have to be at a certain spot. And if they're late or if their supervisor sees them late, they will get written up. And, of course, then the passengers will call in on them. So he steady drive. He let her get on. 
but she totally crossed the line. Look at some other videos if you want. Look at some other videos because I saw one that had a more wide range and you could actually see, you know, the windows and, and traffic passing by. So he, she was driving. He, he was driving at the time. I just want to get you guys' feedback on what you think. I really do. You know, this ain't, you know, nothing to, you know, have any beef with us with, you know, YouTube. You know, our, our YouTube love is still strong and everything. So no beef against us. I just want to know what your opinion is about this situation right here and see what you think. Okay, let me know. Bye.